Yo guys, what is going on? Pokemon Fetish here today with a PSA return. Um, I'm actually skipping straight to the PSA return. You guys are not going to wind up seeing a, a PSA submission for this because I waited far too long to put it up on to, to YouTube. So, I guess you guys get to just skip straight to the bread and butter of the submission. Right after I cut this bad boy open. Got 50 cards here today to show. The grades aren't exactly the best, but they're definitely better than getting a bunch of 8.5s, I suppose. Um, got a few nicer cards in here. Uh, a couple of what the heck grades as well. We'll be looking those over because um, I don't really ever send common cards that are non-hollow, obviously, to get eights and nines. Like, I'm always sending un commons and uncommons and rares if they're going to get a ten, unless they're like a hundred dollar card or something crazy. In this case, that no, they were not. So I guess we'll be looking those over. As soon as I get these beasts on out of here. So, some of the cards may be mixed in here. I'm not really entirely sure. But I got 25 cards from my bro. And here are some of those. So first off, we got the Pretend Team Skull Pikachu. His name is uh, Mr. 619 The Game, just by the way. I'm sure you guys have seen him. He sends off with Thorgeen quite frequently. But sent some cards out through me this time around. Now this card right here, this is an impressive card right here. Got a Gem 10 Not Awake Pikachu. That's a really nice card right there. It's probably going to be like one of the highlights of the video. So we got, now this is basically like a huge PSA Pokemon Pikachu goodness submission. <laughs> so we got the Rayquaza, the shiny version, and a 10. Got the regular version in the 10. Look, I love that sparkle. Next up, we got a very nice Articuno from Fossil that came back as a gem 10. Then we got the Mew Hollow. Beautiful card. I love this card. Lots and lots of 10s right now. So we got uh, Full Art Steelix. Pretty nice card right there. Full Art Umbreon, Gem at 10. I already have this one myself. Look at that. Like that sweet background going on in it. It's pretty awesome. That texture, that texture though. <laughs> it's got the Jolteon Full Art as well from Best of XY. Then we got this super awesome looking Lapras Full Art from Collection Sun. So here's one of the uh, WTF grades. Um, I did not personally look over these cards myself when I sent them in for him, but they did come back as near mint sevens. And if you look at the backs of these, they are quite nice. I don't know. I'm going to have to look them over myself, probably off cam, and see if I could find uh, the reason for the seven. I can see that there is... As you can see there, definitely some uh, up and down scratches. I could see this card actually coming back. I want to say maybe an eight. Yeah, there is a lot of scratches in the hollow, but I don't see that it being deemed. Wow, it's got scratches both horizontal and vertical straight out of a pack. Yeah, these, like people say, Chansey is a monster to grade in a 10, but I don't think that the uh, seven on the grade was warranted well i could see yeah you could see all those uh horizontal ones going through there and then you hold it yeah you see more right there that's crazy then there's a whole bunch going vertical right there up and down as well um still don't see that this was a seven i think it should have at least been an eight to be honest but this next one salakazam got a seven as well and i recall it looking just as nice on the back as that chancy 
It's a very, very nice looking card, especially on the back here. Um, so right off the bat, you can see line coming through this way. Horizontal line right there next to my finger. Sorry guys, I got a lot of cuts on my hand. I got beat up at work the last week. Unless this one has like a dent somewhere that I'm not seeing. I'm not really paying too much attention for a dent. But this card probably should have came back a 9, to be honest. That Chansey, I could see getting an 8 just because of the uh, scratching on the front of there is horrendous. Oh my goodness. So got a Kingdra Full Art English 10. That's nice. It's very, very nice. Then we got the Steelix Mint 9. So these are the English counterpart versions right now. Got that Umbreon. Came back a Mint 9. Glad to have that in a 10 myself. Got the Jolteon. Such an awesome card. That came back as a 10 as well. Sorry, <laughs> like delayed talking. I've had a rough day. Got the Lapras Gem 10. And uh, so, as I said earlier about getting some off-graded cards here. So this Meowth got a 9. So let's take a look at it and see if I hadn't maybe missed something on the card. I don't know if... I think that that's not actually on the card. I think that's just in the case, whatever that thing is. And if that was on the card, that's probably why it came back at nine. But I highly doubt I would send a card with whatever the crap that is that's on there. So, looking this card over, you can see there is literally, I mean, there's dust on here. There's nothing wrong with this card at all up at the top. Not a single, not even a single speck of edgeware on this card. So... Unless, I don't know what that is inside of the card. Unless that actually is on the card, which I highly doubt it is. But if it is, that's why I got the 9. Then, I don't know. So that is one of my cards there. Uh, move on to the third box here. I'm mixing up the, uh, the cards a little bit here. So that was one of my cards, that Meowth was, obviously. So moving back on to Mr. 619 The Games cards. We got another... Awesome pretend Pikachu card here. Pretty awesome. Gem 10. Got a uh, Alolan Vulpix. I'm assuming, I'm not, re not really even too familiar with the Alolans, but check that card out there. Should be, maybe it's the shiny version. That or, and then this one's, or maybe this one's just, yeah, I think this is just the regular Vulpix. I have no idea, guys. I haven't even played Sun and Moon yet. But this one came back as a 9. Um, this one's probably regrettable, to be honest, unless the centering is off, and it's not. I'm thinking that this card should have been a 10. Who knows? So we got another. These cards are really cool. Look at this Pikachu here hanging out with next to them roses. I got a gem 10. We got Easter, Easter Chew. Got that gem mint 10 on that card as well. Then we got Ashes GX, Pika, Ashes Pikachu GX, Gem Mint 10. Looks like we're moving on to a few of my Japanese cards as well. Got a Full Art Misty from the 20th anniversary that came back a Gem 10. We got Brock's Grit that came back a Gem Mint 10 as well. Really no surprises there. And then we got Hell. That sweet looking Alolan Raichu card. Freaking awesome. I came back at Gem 10. Then we got a Full Art Genesect from Awakening Psychic King. That bad boy got a Gem Mint 10 as well. So you guys are sitting here probably thinking, oh, you know, he's, he's doing pretty good on the cards grades. But my cards did not do as good as his did. That is for sure. Then again, he sent off a boatload of Japanese cards, which is no surprise. That gets a bunch of tens, you know, of course, but it's just the way things go. Next up, we've got this uh, just little shiny looking card right there. Pikachu's Mega Campaign, Gem 10. Poncho wearing card, pretty cool. Um, looks like we got to the start of the submission here. 
We got a Vaporeon, Mint 9. Pretty sure one of these cards is regradable, in my opinion. I'll have to relook it over again once just to see, but I swear that this one, I probably this one was regradable. This one got the 9. It might have been the centering or that very small speck of whiting up there at that top corner. But I could have sworn this card was like gem worthy ish. That was probably the centering, to be honest. Maybe it was. I can't remember, guys. I'll have to look them over. But they might just both potentially be for sale. Who knows? So we got Zapdos from base 2. This got a gem mint 10. Pretty awesome card right there. Happy to get that. Next up, we got a Snorlax. That got a mint 9. Kind of expecting this with the quite a bit of silvering down low. And I think that a lot of these cards ended up having, right out of packs, they would have like the, uh, the annoying, you know, the usual pack scratches, stuff like that. I can't remember if this one did. I'll end up looking over a majority of these just to see, you know, because I didn't really get a really good look at them before I sent them out. So we got Kabutops, fresh out of the pack, comes back as an 8. Thinking, you look at the back here, I mean, all that's wrong with it is that spec right here. Um, the centering's good, the cards don't have any, like, any whiting on them really at all on the back. Really no silvering that I could see on them. Pretty sure this one had some, like, some scratches in the hollow foil. Definitely not really deemed worthy of an 8, though. I mean, like, come on. Crazy. Got a pincer, PSA 9. Pretty nice looking card right there. I'll take it. Pretty sure it's silvering and centering. Got it bumped down to that 9. Next up, something I guess, I guess I'm happy about it. This was pulled out of a pack. Um, got a gem mint 10 hollow muck, so I'm okay with that. It's always nice. I'll be going into my set that I just recently started. Got a Jolteon, graded that a mint 9 as well. And then another WTF moment. We got that 8 on Togetic. Togetic? I don't know how to say the name pristine back which you know Neo Genesis always tends to have that look at that just like as far as I could see one one scratch in the hollow right there okay two one in the center and one a little lower this card's probably you know in my opinion is definitely gonna be regradable as a nine at least Got Lieutenant Surge's Firo. Pretty nice looking card right there. Agron EX, Mint 9 from Sandstorm. Still need that one in a 10. Then we got Cray Dilly. We got a Mint 9. Then we got Kabutops EX. Got a Mint 9. I remember this one looking... This one looks pretty gem on the back. Um, I think that for some reason a lot of these e-reader cards, they tend to have scratches down here at the bottom. As you can see that right there. Like some scuffing and stuff. I don't recall this one having really any scratching in the actual foil up here though. So I don't know. I got Bayonet. Got a mint nine on that. Look how crazy. This card is actually... No one really likes Bayonet that much, I bet. But this card looks awesome, though. Just so high-definition looking. It's like a 4K Ultra card right there. Then we got a Del Caddy. Got a Gem Mint 10. So that's pretty cool. Pretty nice-looking card right there from Crystal Guardians. We got a Poliwag. Gem Mint 10 for base set. Got a Drowsy. Gem Mint 10, first edition base set. And then I guess we'll be looking over the two WTF grades. 
So, WTF to this, a near mint to mint 8 on this first edition Goldeen. Centering definitely is not an issue top to bottom or left to right. It's slightly off left to right, but definitely still on parameters of 10. So, I wonder what it was that I may have missed. It's a little weird. I do not remember that being on the top of my card when I sent it. So, the corners are good. Corners are all good. But looking at this now, like, I mean, I've seen cards still come back as 10s like that, but it should have at least been a 9. You see that up there? It's a little weird. It's like a little bit of fanning. I wonder if they maybe, like, dragged their hand on it to look at the card better. I don't know. Huh. I mean, I have different copies, so I guess I'll be sending those out, too. Definitely shouldn't have came back an 8, though. So I got Jigglypuff as well. That got an 8. Can't help but wonder if maybe that... It's got a mark in the same spot or something. As you can see here. It's perfect up along the top. Nothing on the side, on the left. Nothing along the right. Yeah, like, if anything, the Goldeen maybe should have gotten a 9 because of that. That's a little weird. I don't remember seeing that on that card. But this Jigglypuff definitely should have gotten a 10. So, I, I, I don't know. This was kind of a weird submission. Seemed like they were being a little bit harsh. But it's to be expected every now and then, guys. It's PSA, you know. I guess everybody has their days. I did not have such a great run, but hey, I've had other amazing PSA submissions before and returns, so whatever. Just keep on grinding on those tens, boys. Peace.